Well, since the early 2000s, American Idol has been turning dreamers into stars. It was 20 years ago when not one but two Hawaii girls made waves on the show's third season, both getting into the top ten. Tonight, Bridget Namata catches up with top three finisher Jasmine Trias to see how life has changed since that competition. It's been 20 years since Jasmine Trias placed third on the third season of American Idol, but the memories are still fresh. You know, where does the time go? Time just flies by so fast. Starting as an island girl with big dreams and that unforgettable flower in her ear, Jasmine's journey has been remarkable. She's an international platinum selling artist. And I never thought any of this was possible until obviously American Idol. Jasmine's fame led to major endorsement deals, including her own song for McDonald's in the Philippines. I recorded a whole song um, called Love Koto, which basically means I'm loving it. That's their, you know, their global brand. I sing those little dreams, writing melodies ever since I could speak. But Jasmine faced challenges early on. At just 16, she found herself thrust into the spotlight on one of the world's biggest stages. It was like being thrown into the lion's den. <laughs> she learned to push through her fears. I was just 16, so shy, so introverted, and I, I love to sing, but I was just so terrified of being on stage and actually singing in public. And so I just reminded myself that, you know, I had to dig deep and find the courage to, um, to kind of push through and overcome. Since her idle days, Jasmine continues to pursue her dreams. She's back in the recording studio working on new music for release later this year. Um, my husband also performs. He's also a singer, so we perform and travel the world together, which is great. So I continue to do that. On top of that, um, I've also done um, a TV show with Disney called Disney's Fairy Tale Weddings, um, which was shot at the Aulani Resort in Hawaii. And um, I was featured on the first episode of the newest season, so I believe that is streaming on Disney Plus right now. She lives in Las Vegas now, but there's no place like home. Hawaii is such a special place, you know, and I, I, I didn't really appreciate that until I left. A recent reunion with fellow Idol contestant Camille Velasco here in Hawaii brought back fond memories of their journey together. She surprised me, and I hadn't seen her since probably the American Idol tour, or it was a long time ago. And uh, so, yeah, we hadn't really kept in touch too too much, but um, yeah, she surprised me and we were just so happy to see each other. So when will Jasmine Trias be back in Hawaii? Soon. I'm also um, hoping to announce some shows that we're currently working on for Hawaii. So um, that's really exciting. And so I'm hoping to announce that soon, but um, for any updates on that, people can uh, check out my, my, my socials at Jasmine Trias or my website at jasmintrias.com. Bridget Namata, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii. Oh.